So we ask, what must we do to protect our democracy? We should invest heavily in recruiting and supporting state and local candidates for office in both parties who represent the values enshrined in our Constitution. We should ensure we have a judiciary that is less lopsided in its political leanings and that we can all depend on to uphold the Constitution. We must confront and combat the rise of rampant disinformation and ensure that all Americans have the tools to see fact from fiction. This will be particularly difficult work since some in power have used disinformation to manipulate our differences and pull Americans apart, pressuring us to see our fellow Americans as enemies. The dangers facing our democracy took years to metastasize, and they will take years of sustained, focused effort to effectively reverse. There are steps that we can take today to fix our politics and better set the stage for repairing our democracy. Many of you know I began my career as a social worker. And in our social work training, our first necessary skill is the ability to listen to others. Listening not to argue or rebut, but listening to understand. I ran for the United States Senate rejecting partisanship, willing to work with anyone to help Arizonans build better and more secure lives. And throughout my time serving Arizona, I have listened to Arizonans expressing diverse views on inflation, economic competitiveness, climate, and social priorities, and the role of the federal government itself. I find myself grateful time and time again to learn from Arizonans who share the same core values but differ in position on issues and policies. Their similarities and their differences are surely representative of the complexity of Americans nationwide. So I find this question answers itself. Can two Americans of sharp intellect and good faith reach different conclusions to the same question? Yes. Yes, of course they can. It is easy for elected officials to give speeches about what they believe. It is harder to listen and acknowledge that there are a whole lot of Americans with different ideas about what is important in our country and how to solve those problems. And yet, it is important to recognize that disagreements are okay. They're normal. And honest disagreements matched with a willingness to listen and learn can help us forge sturdy and enduring solutions. You know, Congress was designed to bring together Americans of diverse views, representing different interests, and as a collective, to find compromise and common ground to serve our country as a whole. We face serious challenges, and meeting them must start with a willingness to be honest to listen to one another, to lower the political temperature, and to seek lasting solutions. Some have given up on the goal of easing our divisions and uniting Americans. I have not. I've worked hard to demonstrate in my public service the value of working with unlikely allies to get results helping others see our common humanity and finding our common ground. And I remain stubbornly optimistic because this is America. We have overcome every challenge we've ever faced. And I am committed to doing my part to avoid toxic political rhetoric, to build bridges, to forge common ground, and to achieve lasting results for Arizona and this country, but we are in desperate need of more. More people who are willing to listen, to seek understanding, to stitch together the fabric of our country that has been ripping round the edges. More people who are willing to put down the sticks 
sharpened for battle, and instead pick up their neighbors to learn why they're angry or upset or left behind. So I call on each of us as Americans, let us be those people. We are but one country. We have but one democracy. We can only survive. We can only keep her if we do so together. Thank you.